Hi everyone. Today I wanted to play with socks. Had a bunch of socks in the office. Thought, let me send everybody socks. And depending on the age of your kids, you'll get to do one of two different things with them. So first is the sock puppet. If you have a sock puppet, you will see some eyes on your sock puppet and maybe even a spot with the mouth. The, the thing that goes over the foot, that's where I make the mouth. So sock puppets are really, really fun in engaging little kids. Um, especially somebody who might not want to talk yet. Uh, sometimes they will talk with the puppet. They'll think the puppet's kind of funny. You know, they might want to talk in a different voice. You can tell them to clean up the kitchen like this. Pick up your toys. And it's a lot funnier than mom saying, pick up your toys. So if you got socks with eyeballs, then you are in store for fun sock puppet time. Now, and you can always add things to it. You can add some hair or anything else like that. I just started you off. Now, if your kid's a little bigger, you might have gotten uh, this activity. So start by hanging up your string, tie it to two things. I have it tied to a chair and to my railing. And what you will find is you will also find five clothespins with the numbers on them, the numerals, and then socks with dots on them to correspond with each numeral. Now, the kids are starting to learn how to identify the numeral. Oh, this is one. What does one mean? This is what one means, one dot. And now they've matched that up using their brain. Now they have to use those small motor skills. Last week we did big motor skills with balls. So small motor skills to squeeze it with one hand, hold it on the string with the other hand and attach it without it falling off, <laughs> right? That's a big thing. Then using their brain again, right? Using those cognitive skills, find number two. Find the sock with two dots on it, only two dots. Hold it up and squeeze it. You might have to have your child kind of play around. Maybe your kid isn't right-handed, maybe they're left-handed or something and you have to switch hands. Don't do it for them. That's always a temptation. Even if you need to show them how to do it, you show them how to do it, and then you take it off and hand it to them and let them work it out. This can be a very, very fun thing, right? Four and five. They can go back through and count. Oh, look, we have one, two, three, four, and five. All right, they're practicing hanging things up. You can move them around. And if you find that they really like this, you can make other things too that would fit into this pattern you can make more of these abcs all different things like that um but your kids can also do chores did you know that as young as 18 months old a child can help sort socks right so they might not be able to tell oh this white sock doesn't match that white sock but if you have white socks and black socks they can split them up into the white and black. And as they get older, you can teach them how you like to fold them together or flip them over. And they can also do like washcloths and things like that. So let's try to involve the kids in the folding of laundry a little bit. And let's work on either sock puppets and talking or on hanging out the wash. Can't wait to visit with you.